Scientists have identified a huge new side effect of the COVID vaccine. It was published on 22 October 2025 in Nature, one of science's leading journals, and it shocked even the scientists who were researching it. What we found is that COVID mRNA vaccines act like a siren to activate the immune system throughout the body. The study involved 1,000 patients at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Texas with advanced lung cancer or melanoma who were within 100 days of receiving approved immunotherapy drugs. Lung cancer patients who received a Pfizer or Moderna mRNA COVID vaccine survived for about 37 months, or almost twice as long as those who didn't receive the shot. Researchers say it appears the vaccine helps supercharge the patient's immune systems to fight against their cancerous tumors. The COVID vaccine works by containing a code, and that code is called mRNA. This code acts as an instruction manual for our body to read and make a protein. The machine that reads this instruction manual in your cells is called the ribosome. So when you get the vaccine, you receive loads of these instruction manuals, and as a result, your cells produce loads of protein. The instruction manual given to you is for a protein called the spike protein, which exists on the surface of the COVID virus. Your immune system recognizes this protein as foreign and attacks it using antibodies and other types of immune cells that act as soldiers to protect against viruses. Then, when you actually get COVID, your body recognizes the spike protein on the surface of the virus, identifies COVID as a foreign invader, and attacks and kills it. So, what the scientists find was the side effect of the COVID vaccine. They found that the vaccine activated the immune system. In fact, it activated it so much that it enhanced cancer patients' ability to fight off cancer. You see, one of the main types of cancer treatment is called immunotherapy, and this therapy helps your own immune cells identify and kill cancer cells. Scientists discovered that when cancer patients had certain types of immunotherapy alongside a COVID vaccine, it enhanced their immune system's ability to detect and fight cancer cells. For example, in those with a specific type of lung cancer, their survival rate nearly doubled when they underwent immunotherapy at the same time as receiving a COVID vaccine. Scientists also found that having the vaccine closest to the start of immunotherapy resulted in the strongest immune response to help fight the cancer. Now, while it's unlikely that doctors will start prescribing COVID vaccines as a joint treatment for cancer, this discovery demonstrates that there are clear ways we can enhance our own immune system to help us fight and detect cancer. When scientists began to investigate why this effect occurred, the results painted a fascinating picture of how the human immune system responds to mRNA vaccines. The vaccine doesn't just prompt the body to produce the spike protein, it also sets off a wave of immune activity far beyond that single task. The injection triggers the release of molecules called type 1 interferons, a kind of alarm signal that alerts the entire immune system to danger. These interferons activate immune cells such as dendritic cells and T cells, both essential for identifying and attacking infected or abnormal cells. In healthy people, this reaction helps the body prepare to fight the coronavirus. But in cancer patients, whose immune systems are already being stimulated through immunotherapy, this surge appears to supercharge the process. Immunotherapy itself works by taking the breaks off the immune system. Normally, cancer cells can hide from immune attack by exploiting certain molecular checkpoints that tell T cells not to strike. Drugs known as immune checkpoint inhibitors remove those safety locks, allowing immune cells to attack tumors more aggressively. However, this treatment doesn't always succeed. Some tumors remain cold, meaning they don't trigger a strong immune response even when the breaks are removed. The new research suggests that mRNA vaccines may turn these cold tumors hot by flooding the system with signals that awaken immune cells. In essence, the vaccine gives the immune system a jolt, a reminder to stay on high alert. The clinical data behind this discovery came from thousands of cancer patients already receiving immunotherapy. 
scientists compared those who happened to get a COVID vaccine near the start of their treatment with those who didn't. What they found was striking. In people with advanced non-small cell lung cancer, survival rates climbed sharply when the vaccine was administered within about 100 days of starting immunotherapy. Median overall survival jumped from roughly 20 months to over 37 months, a dramatic improvement in diseases where every extra month counts. For patients with metastatic melanoma, one of the most aggressive forms of skin cancer, the effect was even more pronounced. Those who had received an mRNA vaccine during their treatment were about twice as likely to be alive three years later compared to those who hadn't. These weren't small statistical quirks. The survival difference persisted even after accounting for age, cancer stage, and other health factors. Importantly, this boost wasn't seen with unrelated vaccines like the flu shot. The effect seemed specific to mRNA platform, the same technology used in the Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna COVID vaccines. Researchers proposed that the unique way mRNA vaccines stimulate innate immunity could explain why they synergize so powerfully with immunotherapy. Instead of targeting a tumor directly, the vaccine essentially wakes up the immune system as a whole, giving immunotherapy a stronger starting point. The findings also line up with what scientists have observed in laboratory experiments. In mouse models, mRNA vaccination produced bursts of interferons that reprogrammed immune cells in the tumor environment, making them more aggressive and efficient than detecting abnormal cells. These mice showed slower tumor growth and stronger responses to checkpoint blockade therapy. The same pattern was reflected in human tumor samples, where researchers detected elevated levels of immune signaling molecules and a higher presence of cytotoxic T-cells, the immune system's most potent cancer-killing soldiers. While these discoveries have generated enormous excitement, researchers have been quick to emphasize that this is not a cure and not yet a treatment protocol. The study was retrospective, meaning it looked back at data from patients who had already been treated rather than testing the effect in a controlled clinical trial. There could still be hidden variables. For instance, patients who were well enough to receive a vaccine might also have been healthier overall, contributing to better outcomes. Nevertheless, the size of the dataset and the strength of the correlation make it one of the most compelling observations in recent cancer immunology. Experts have described the discovery as a window into a new kind of medicine. The idea that a vaccine developed in record time to fight a pandemic could also enhance cancer therapy underscores how interconnected our immune defenses really are. For years, oncologists have been searching for ways to stimulate the immune system safely and broadly. Many experimental cancer vaccines have tried to mimic what the COVID vaccine achieved, the precise, temporary activation of immune pathways without overwhelming the body. Now researchers have a real-world example showing that it can happen naturally. Clinicians are already considering how to test this effect in prospective trials. One approach would be to give an mRNA vaccine at specific intervals before or during immunotherapy to measure whether it improves tumor response rates. Another idea is to design modified mRNA vaccines that intentionally include immune-stimulating components, turning them into adjuvants for cancer treatment. The hope is that these future vaccines could boost the immune system's ability to detect not just the coronavirus spike protein, but also unique markers found on cancer cells themselves. What makes this so powerful is that the mRNA platform is flexible. It can be reprogrammed quickly to carry new genetic instructions, meaning that a vaccine could, in theory, teach the immune system to recognize a tumor's specific mutations. Researchers are already experimenting with personalized cancer vaccines built on the same technology as the COVID shot, using a patient's own tumor DNA to design a tailored mRNA sequence. The recent findings give those projects even more momentum, showing that mRNA itself, not just the antigens it encodes, can act as a catalyst for immune activation. For patients, the implications are deeply hopeful. Immunotherapy has already transformed certain cancers from near-certain death sentences into chronic, manageable conditions. If something as routine as a vaccine can amplify those effects, it could widen the circle of patients who benefit. For lung cancer, where survival rates have historically been dismal, even a modest improvement in overall survival translates to thousands of lives. The fact that such a benefit might come from a widely available, low-cost intervention adds to its significance. Still, there's a balance to strike between optimism and caution. Scientists stress that more data is needed to confirm how timing, dosage, and cancer type influence the outcome. It's also important to remember that not all immune activation is good. Overstimulating the immune system can lead to inflammation or autoimmune reactions. Early reports, however, show no increase in severe side effects among vaccinated patients receiving immunotherapy, suggesting that the combination is generally safe. 
the discovery also highlights an unexpected silver lining of the pandemic. The global rollout of mRNA vaccines created an unprecedented dataset, allowing researchers to study the immune system at a scale never seen before. Billions of doses have provided insight into how human immunity behaves when prompted with mRNA instructions. Without that massive real-world experiment, it might have taken decades to uncover this connection between vaccines and cancer therapy. Beyond oncology, these results could ripple across medicine. If mRNA vaccines can enhance immune responses to tumors, they might also improve outcomes in infectious diseases or chronic viral infections where immune exhaustion is a problem. The technology's ability to awaken immune pathways could prove valuable in treating conditions that depend on precise immune modulation from HIV to autoimmune diseases, depending on how it's harnessed. For now, though, the focus remains on understanding the mechanism in cancer patients. Researchers are dissecting blood samples and tumor biopsies to map out exactly which immune cells are activated, how long the effect lasts, and whether repeated vaccination could sustain the benefits. There is also growing interest in whether other types of mRNA vaccines, such as those being developed for influenza, RSV, or even cancer itself, might produce similar immunoenhancing effects. The idea that a simple injection could double survival for some patients sounds almost unbelievable yet the data are consistent and biologically plausible. It challenges one of the most fundamental assumptions in medicine, that vaccines exist purely to prevent infections. What this discovery suggests is something far more profound, that a vaccine can act as a precision tool to reprogram the immune system, not just to defend against microbes, but to recognize and attack abnormal cells within our own bodies. For decades, researchers have dreamed of finding ways to make the immune system smarter, faster, and more discerning. Now, evidence from this study hints that we may already possess that tool, hidden in plain sight within an existing vaccine. This reframes how we think about vaccination altogether. Instead of viewing it as a one-dimensional shield against disease, it becomes a kind of biological switch capable of fine-tuning how the immune system behaves. The mRNA platform doesn't just teach the body to recognize one specific protein. It sparks a cascade of immune signals that awaken multiple pathways of defense. That activation might make the difference between a cancer that continues to hide and one that the body finally sees and destroys. The power of this approach lies in its simplicity. No new drug molecules, no complex chemotherapies, just the body's own defenses recalibrated and refocused. This doesn't mean the COVID vaccine is a miracle cure and scientists are careful to avoid overstatement. The vaccine alone isn't killing cancer cells, but rather priming the immune system so it can do what it's naturally built to do, protect the body from internal threats as well as external ones. It's a subtle distinction, but a crucial one. The immune system has always been capable of recognizing tumors. The problem is that cancers evolve clever ways to hide in plain sight, switching off the body's alarms. What this discovery shows is that mRNA vaccines might briefly flip those alarms back on, reawakening a vigilance that cancer had suppressed. In a sense, this discovery closes a loop that began decades ago. Early cancer researchers dreamed of teaching the immune system to recognize tumors as threats, just as it does viruses. For years, that vision remained out of reach. Then, in the race to stop a global pandemic, scientists built the mRNA platform, a technology that now appears capable of fulfilling that old dream. What started as an emergency response to COVID-19 may ultimately transform how we treat one of humanity's oldest enemies. The story is still unfolding. Clinical trials are being planned, oncologists are re-examining patient data, and immunologists are racing to understand the fine details of this phenomenon. But one thing is clear. We have only begun to grasp the full potential of mRNA science. A vaccine meant to fight a virus may have accidentally opened the door to a new era in cancer treatment, a future where preventing infection and fighting tumors are part of the same biological conversation. And if this discovery holds up, it may mark the beginning of a profound shift where a single shot can awaken the immune system, not just to survive disease, 
but to overcome.